What's up guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to compression test your engine to check the health of it. Uh, I'm going to be doing this on my Focus ST, but the process is pretty much the same on uh, any modern car at least. And I rented this compression tester from O'Reilly's, it was $44 and I get all that back um, as soon as I uh, take it back and return it. And I noticed this little button on the... Uh, edge of it there is broken that's usually what you'll use to release the pressure hopefully that uh it'll hold the pressure and all i got to do is release it there to let the pressure out but uh we'll see but pretty much what this does is it lets you know the health of your engine and let you know if your engine is on its way out which i'm having some issues with my car with like a cylinder two misfire and some other things so i'm going to be checking the uh compression so I can rule that out and know that my engine is hopefully uh, not damaged and I'll see if uh, it'll compression test the cylinder in there uh, to make sure that's not losing compression and there's no uh, air seeping through anyway. And I just realized that these little push tab things are literally falling out of my bumper. But uh, it is a pretty easy process. All you gotta do is I'm gonna take out all four of these coil packs here. I'm gonna focus ST, just this eight millimeter bolt up at the top and then uh, i'm going to take all of these spark plugs out and then once you have all your core packs removed and all of the spark plugs out then i'll show you what to do with the compression tester and how to actually uh, pressurize the cylinder and also something i forgot to mention is that you want your engine to be at operating temperature when you do this so go drive your car around for a while until the oil temp gets to uh its normal driving temperature because you want all the metals to you know be expanded contracted all that from driving uh so that it is in like the engine is in the state it would be when it is driving and uh, i will show you how you might be worried if like it's not going to ignite in the cylinder because of what we'll do on the inside and with the focus st in most modern cars uh, if you put the gas all the way down when you do it it won't uh, inject fuel and ignite in the cylinder and obviously you have no spark plug so it's not going to uh, ignite and for a focus st this does depend on the car but if you're watching this for Focus ST, we're looking for around 160 to 170 PSI at sea level uh, in the cylinder for a healthy engine. And you may not see that on this gauge just because uh, this may not be accurate. But what we are looking for is one cylinder that's quite a bit lower than the others. And that'll pretty much tell us. We're looking for a consistent number uh, just from pretty much any car. You want to look for a consistent number across all four cylinders. For this, it's the four cylinder, all eight, all six, uh, whatever your car is, a V6, I4, V8, whatever. Uh, so we are going to test that, and I don't know if that gauge will be accurate. I just rented it from O'Reilly's, but uh, we'll be able to tell pretty easily if one cylinder is lower than the others. So I got all the coil packs removed. I'm just leaving them plugged in so I don't get them mixed up just because I want to keep them in the same spot for uh, targeting issues. And same with my spark plugs, I just put them in line of the order I took them out. And now is a great time to check uh, if you're looking to compression test your engine, you're probably wanting to know the health of it. So you can also tell that with your spark plugs. Uh, and you also want to check the gap on them, make sure the gap on your spark plugs is correct. And you can see it's really hot, but uh, mine look a little bit lean which is what my car is doing so that means that the car is running lean and it's not just a faulty sensor from what i can tell so i'm compression testing the engine just to make sure no damage has been done uh, because that lighter color on the end there from what i understand means that it is running uh, a little bit lean which is not what i want so uh, i'm going to be checking the compression and hopefully uh, that it is not bad but to use the compression tester uh, you'll just take the uh oh the little piece just fell down in there that was uh broken but uh this the end here the threaded part with the o-ring you put down inside your engine and just uh thread it on uh just like you would if you were putting in a spark plug and get it nice and snug don't over tighten it but just get it nice and snug uh and then uh, once we have that uh in there i will show you how to actually go about compression testing the engine i'll show you but uh, i'm doing this with one person so i don't have someone to sit here and hold the gauge and tell me when it stops going up uh, as we compression test it so what i'm going to be doing is we'll get in the car and uh, i will have this screwed in there just on one cylinder you can leave the other ones open 
and I'll show you what uh, we're gonna do exactly. Since my car's a manual, I have to have the clutch pushed in uh, at the same time, but I'll have clutch in all the way, and then you wanna put the gas all the way down as you start it. Make sure that it's floored, and uh, that'll let the engine, uh, that lets the car know what you're doing, and it's not going to spray fuel into it. And then uh, what we're gonna do is I'll just press the start button, or if you have a key, turn the key, and uh, we will count to five. You'll kind of want to get it like to turn over like five times, kind of. You'll just listen for it. And uh, once it's done that, you will stop and then get out and check the compression. And uh, hopefully this holds compression, even though that is uh, missing there. If not, I'm going to have to go get another compression tester because this one's not working. But uh, that's basically what we're going to do. So I'm going to go ahead and get this hooked up and then uh, I will start testing the compression. So I got the uh, gauge hooked up. So now we're going to go in the uh, car here and I'm gonna put the clutch in, gas all the way in, and then count to like five turnovers. Okay, that was weird. It kept going. I had to press the button again uh, to get it to stop, but it did sound like Oh yeah, this is going to be hard to do uh, because it leaks. So it was working, and actually it was spraying fuel because I smell the fuel. Uh, but uh, it did go up a little bit, but then it stopped because that little button there is not working. So I'm actually going to have to set this up and record it to uh, get my compression, but uh, you kind of get the idea. For you, if you have a working gauge, it'll work. I just gotta set this up so I can record it because I don't have another person here to uh, help me read the compression of the cylinder here. So I tested all four cylinders and I got 110 PSI in cylinder one, 115 in two and three, and then 110 again in cylinder four. So that is not really a big, uh, big enough difference to be concerned of any issues. So that is good news for me. At least I know my engine is not uh, on its way out in one of the cylinders because it's not really going to happen in all four at once. Uh, and uh this red i mean you could know like for focus st it should be like 160 to 170 is what they say at sea level but obviously you know 110 and 115 is not uh anywhere near that but i live in oklahoma i don't i have no clue what elevation i'm at but uh also could be difference with the gauge here but it did read consistently uh consistently across all four cylinders uh so uh, I was able to rule this out as my engine being bad, but you know, just make sure that you get it, uh, make sure that you get the O-ring on here snug up against the block to make sure uh, that you don't get a false low compression reading, and then just make sure that uh, you let uh, you let it crank for the same amount of time for each one until the needle stops going up. Uh, for me, it was about five to six seconds uh, for that to uh, work perfectly. And... Uh, Make sure to check your spark, pl spark plug gap when uh, you do this, just to make sure that everything is healthy. Uh, hopefully, no one watching this has a low compression reading and their engine is on its way out. But uh, I hope this video helped. It's a pretty easy thing to do. I actually, uh, back when I didn't know how to do it, I kind of thought that it was a hard thing to do and I'd have to take it to a shop to get done, but it's actually really easy. Anyone can do it. And uh, it's a great thing to do to check the health of your engine. But uh, that is pretty much it. Please leave a like and subscribe and follow me on Instagram at Nick Jornat. And I will see you in the next video.